Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched trigonometry part 1 to 4. Let me introduce to a term sine, cos and tan. You must have seen this term in your physics books or any other place. What is sine, cos and tan? In the first slide when we have introduced trigonometry, we have told that sine, cos and tan is used to find this. We have given an example that you were standing in a tower and one ship was coming from here. You know the height of this. You want to find the distance how far is the ship from you. This is the ship. And then I told that if you have this theta, then you can say tan theta is equal to d by h. You know h, you know tan theta, you can get d. So there we have used tan theta. So we have used tan theta, sin theta, cos theta. If not, we'll keep using this. It's a very crucial thing. So we have to learn this sin theta, cos theta and tan theta. Before that, let's give you a mantra. The mantra is Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bol. So I'll write like this. Pandit P, this Pandit. Badri V, like this. Prashad P, like this. Pandit Badri Prashad on the numerator and hari hari bol in the denominator. So we will say we will write all this dash and we'll say hari hari bol. H H B. So what I have done? H H B. Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bol. This is like this. Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bol. So this is the mantra. So here in this right triangle, we have this 90 degree angle. The side opposite to 90 degree angle is H. We call hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. And then we have two sides. We can take any angle theta. So if we take this angle theta, the side which is with the theta angle that is base. And the side which is opposite of theta angle is perpendicular. Divided by P and this is divided by B and this is by H. So the right triangle, please note here. The side opposite to 90 degree angle is hypotenuse. With the hypotenuse, whatever angle you get, uh, let's suppose we assume this is theta. Then whatever side you get with the hypotenuse is base and the opposite side of the angle you have considered theta is perpendicular. So here in this scenario, when you say P by H, P by H, this is nothing but sin theta. So this guy is nothing but Pandit Badri Prashad. This is sin theta. This is cos theta. This is tan theta. Just this is our tip to remember. Pandit Badri Pashad Hari Hari Bol just write this like this and you write sin cos tan. So you have to remember two things sin cos tan and Pandit Badri Pashad Hari Hari Bol. Then you know that sin theta is equal to P by H. You draw a right triangle. You get a theta. As I told the convention, the side opposite to right triangle is hypotenuse. If you take this angle theta, this becomes perpendicular and the side which is part of this theta is become base. So when you say sin theta, that becomes P by H, P by H. When you say cos theta, it becomes B by H, that is this side by this. And we become tan theta, it becomes P by B. For example, this is 3, let's suppose this is 3 centimeter, this is 4 centimeter. So here we have this is 3 and this is 4. So we know that H square is equal to P square plus B square. Or we can say this is h square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. So h is equal to 5. So we have this relation. Let's example I'm taking. This is base, perpendicular is 3, base is 4, and hypotenuse is 5. So when I want to find point sine theta, so here sine theta becomes p by h. Here is p by h. So p by h is nothing but 3 by Similarly, cos theta here becomes b by h, b is equal to 4, 4 by 5. 
and tan theta is equal to p by b p by b is theta so this is the relation we'll get in this example where we find sin theta cos theta and tan theta we know that using this mantra pandit badri prashad hari hari bol sin theta is equal to p by h cos theta is equal to b by h tan theta is equal to p by b this is something which we have to learn and to learn this we have this mantra so once we learn this we can solve a lot of questions in trigonometry this is the basic basic building block of trigonometry that is sin theta is equal to p by h cos theta is equal to b by h and tan theta is equal to p by h also we have sin opposite of sin is we have cosec opposite of cos we have sec and opposite of tan we have cot theta so the cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta and cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta so i'll write here and again cosec theta is nothing but 1 by sin theta so 1 by sin theta is equal to h by p so this becomes h by p we just reverse this h by p similarly sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta and that becomes h by b and cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta that becomes b by p because p by b is tan theta so what we have learned till now sin theta cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta and cot theta so the mantra is clear we use pandit badri prashad hari hari bol we write sin cos tan here also if you want we can write cosec theta sec theta and cot theta so this one is just whatever we see and this is reverse so if you say when you say cos theta you say h by p when you say sec theta you say h by p when you say cot theta you say b by p but for sin theta you say p by h similar cos theta b by h and tan theta b by h i hope this will help you to remember please it may sound little difficult to start with but this is not that difficult you have to just remember this pandit badri prashad hari hari bol then you remember sin cos tan and cosec sec cot so if you can remember this pandit badri prashad hari hari bol sin cos tan cosec sec cot then you can remember all this let's see the table for sin cos tan cosec sec and cot so this is theta so this is uh, in radian this is in degree both are same if we can take any one so let's take now this one so when you say sin 0 sin 0 is 0 sin 30 degree is equal to 1 by 2 sin 45 degree is equal to 1 by root 2 so i'm taking sin theta now first so when i say sin 0 that becomes 0 sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 Sin forty five one by root two, sin sixty root three by two, and sin ninety one. This is the table for sin. We also have sin thirty five, sin forty, sin fifty five. But those are difficult to start with. The kind of questions we'll get if we know the sin zero thirty forty five sixty and ninety is more than enough for us. For other small small uh, or for other uh, values of sin signs, for example, sin forty five, sin fifty five, sin 57 so for those we can use a sign table but in most of the questions which we will get we can solve those questions if we know sign 0 sign 30 sign 45 sign 60 and sign 90 similarly for cos for cos cos 0 is 1 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 60 is 1 by 2 cos 90 is 0 and for tan tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is 1 by root 2 Tan forty five is one. Tan sixty is one two three, and tan ninety is undefined. Why? Because tan is nothing but sine by cos. So one by zero is undefined. Similarly, cosec sec and cot we have. 
cosec is opposite 1 by of sin so you see 1 by 0 is undefined 1 by 1 by 2 becomes 2 so 1 by 1 by 2 becomes 2 1 by 1 by root 2 becomes root 2 1 by root 3 by 2 becomes 2 by root 3 and 1 by 1 becomes 1 similarly we have sec and cot sec is 1 by of cos so 1 by 1 is equal to 1 1 by root 3 2 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 by root 3 1 by 1 by root 2 is equal to root 2 1 by 2 is equal to 2 and 1 by 0 becomes undefined similarly tan is 1 by cot or yeah cot is 1 by tan so this is 0 1 by 0 is undefined 1 by root 3 is become root 3 1 by 1 is equal to 1 root 3 1 by root 3 and 0 1 by undefined is equal to 0 so we know that if we know these three we know these three also in fact we if we know only these two we can get this also because tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta why again i'll show you pandit badri pashan hari hari both this is sin this is cos and this is tan so we know that sin theta is equal to p by h and cos theta is equal to b by h so we divide this sin theta by cos theta sin theta by cos theta we get p by v because h is common it will cancel and p by v is nothing but tan theta so if you know this and this that is more than enough because if you see 0 by 1 is equal to 0 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 is equal to 1 by root 3 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2 is equal to 1 root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 is equal to root 3 1 by 0 is 1 defined so please learn these formulas at least if not all this much only this much and then you can derive other formulas because if you have sine if you have cos you can derive tan if you have sine you can derive cosec you can, if you have cos you can derive cot and if you have sine cos you can derive cot tan and then you can derive cot or you can directly divide say cos by sine that becomes cot so learn this sine 0 is 0 sine 30 1 by 2 sine 45 1 by root 2 sine 60 root 3 by 2 sine 91 also one more thing if you see if you can just remember this series is more than enough because this series and this series are just opposite example if you see this this is let's suppose 0 this is 0 this is 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 this is 1 by root 2 so this becomes 1 by root 2 this i'll say root 3 by 2 this is root 3 by 2 this is 1 this is 1 this is just reverse way so if you can just remember the series 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 this series itself with this you can remember everything and you know this is 0 30 45 60 90 so if you remember this series 0 30 45 60 90 and for this sign is 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 you can remember everything because this is sign cos is just other way around you can say like this you can write like this 0 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 and 0 now you have got sine, you have got cos, you can get, get, get tan, tan is going to sine by cos, 0 by Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and match.